Brooklyn, and welcome to the Weekly News. Today is Wednesday, April 26, and this is episode 31. Here are a quick few announcements before we get into our first news segment. Tomorrow, April 27th, HB Lee has a track meet at Reynolds High School. Please try on your friends if, as they compete. This week, the sixth graders are at outdoor school. Remember, you cannot order this, your yearbook. You don't want to miss out. So either order online or bring $10 to Mr. Riedel or to the main office. And now for our first segment, how to order yearbooks. Okay, so first you go to Safari and type in the search bar hbleehawks.com. Then you scroll down the page so you see buy yearbook. Then you click the link provided underneath. Then you fill out the form first by choosing if you're a student or a staff member. Then you put your first and last name. After that, you put your email. Then you put in your password. Finally, you put in your grade and teacher. You can also pay in person at the office or go down to room 609. Me personally, I will be ordering my yearbooks as soon as possible. Now on to sixth grade girls preventing fights at school. Today, we have some sixth graders that will be showing some situations of fighting and why fighting is not okay so Eric pay attention to the video cuz maybe you can learn something talking about me. I wasn't talking about you I wasn't talking about you I was talking about you hey so this is why we don't spread rumors because as you can see it leads to fights and fighting is not good and yeah so let's see the real story. Uh, what happened? I don't know. She just came up to me saying you were spreading rumors about me, but I wasn't. And she just started hitting me. Do you think you guys can move on from this? Yeah, I think so. Okay, thank you. So, what happened? Um, people came coming up to me telling me that she was talking crap about me and spreading rumors, and I was tired of it. Do you think you could have handled it better? Yeah. Do you think you guys can move on past this? Yeah, probably. Okay, thank you. This is why we, we don't, don't spread rumors. It leads to unsafe behaviors. That was pretty funny, but also a very serious topic. Now let's go on to May Madness Basketball Tournament. We'll start at 5 o'clock p.m., but you guys have to arrive there at 4.45 p.m. Families will go head-to-head -head in this basketball-style tournament. Compete to win a plate that will be displayed in the Lee Middle School Hall of Fame. You guys can get this form from your guys' advisory teachers, or you guys can go to the front office to get one. Make sure to sign up because it's going to be super fun. I hope everybody who wants to play basketball and can play basketball signs up so you guys can have a lot of fun. Now on to the next segment. Hi, this is Paul of the Week and I'm with... Vox? Okay, Vox. Um, what's the best way for you to relax? Sleep. To sleep? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Hi, this is Paul of the Week and I'm here with... Seamus and Bella. What is your favorite way to relax? Um, mine's probably just like listening to music and playing video games. Mine's probably listening to music or cooking or like baking and stuff. Play. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Hi, this is Paul of the Weekend. I'm with... Okay, Level. Um, what's the best way for you to relax? Hi, we are here with... Jenna Gerton Davis, or the principal. What is your favorite way to relax? Either watching sci-fi movies or jogging. Cool, thank you. My name's Liam and um, my favorite way to relax is just pass out on my bed. Mine's drawing. I like playing video games. My turn. What's the question? Uh, I'd like to read my book. Oh man, Mr. Leo. Okay, Mr. Leo, uh, what's your favorite way to relax? 
I will have to say either taking a nap or before taking a nap reading a nice book no, I'm not gonna read the whole book obviously but I'm just gonna read a couple of chapters if I can and then hopefully fall asleep after that if not a couple of video games or well then nah, that's pretty much it me personally I love to relax in my bed watching young children and eating chips and now it's time for the new Pacific Islander Club so who are we here with? Miss Nelly. So oh, Miss Nelly, why are you guys setting up Pacific Islander Club? We're setting up Pacific Islander Club because it's much needed and we need support a support system for the Pacific Islander students here at East Greeley. That's nice. What are you guys gonna do in the club? The hope for the club is to build a community where we can help students succeed. Uh, academically, mentally, and also um, just like thrive as a community here at HV Lee. When are you guys going to meet up and where? On May 3rd is our official day to start Islander Club, so make sure you look out for the room number that Sun will provide. Thank you, Ms. Nelly, for letting us interview you today. <laughs> Thank you, and Kiriso Tzabur. I hope to see all the students on May 3rd. Ms. Vincenta. My name is Natina. My name is Chadri. What we think about the, I mean, the PI Club is it's a good community um, to spend time with the Islanders and stuff. Sign up before it's too late. Yup. Mm -hmm. I think PI Club is a good thing so then uh, all Pacific Islanders could go and meet each other and uh, become friends. We should think PI Club is good. Yes. It's very Islander. But it's good, I guess. I think the Islander Club is a very, very, very good opportunity for the Islanders to come together. I think the I Club is an amazing place for Islanders. Yeah. I think you guys should all go check it out. It sounds really fun. That is me and Rose segment, by the way. I'd like to give a shout out to um, Bella, Rio, and the rest of my friends. Um, I'm Shana, Yaya, and Mr. Kendall. I mean, it's great people, and just being all a part of our school. Yay! I'd like to give a shout out to um, Addie, Kanane, 
Allison, Mr. McDermott, Jonathan, um, and Amanda, and myself, because I'm just cool like that. Hi, my name's Brooklyn, and I want to give a shout out to Russell Rahab because she's always helping me with the camera work and editing and leadership. Uh, I don't think I'm going to shout out Rosa Reha. Hold on. I'll shout out Rosa Reha, Mrs. Schaffler, Sophia, and Emily, and Brittany. So they can lick my feet. No, no. I want to shout out John. Like I said, Hawk Squack Shoutouts is me a real segment, so I personally think that's the best one. That's the best segment. Now to the new raffle winners. Here are the raffle winners for the creeper, the seal, and the snail. But you know, there are three prizes for each winner. The sixth grade winner is... <laughs> Leonard, sixth grade Miss Wa The second prize is... Bella from Miss Sands class. <laughs> the third prize winner is <laughs> Nate Williams from Snyder's class. The seventh grade winners are Maria Lopez from Gate Anderson. Aiden Shaw from Geringer. Mahana Saram Gilman. Winners are Jasmine from Mr. Lineweber. The second winner is Cameron from Mr. Breeze's Cross. And the third winner is Leon from Miss Dobby's. The staff winners are Miss Fox. Hey, you guys did such a great job filling up our bird theater with book reviews again that we are having our next drawing for a free book. So if you're the winner, you come to the library, you tell me what book you want, I'm going to order it for you, okay? And we've got a special guest, Mr. McDermott's going to be doing our drawing. Hopefully uh, he can read your handwriting. Yes, hopefully I can. Don't look in there when you're drawing. Well, do we have a student named Vox Mover? Morose. If we do, that is the bombest name <laughs> I've ever heard. It's Vox Morose. And who is the language arts teacher or homeroom teacher? Oh, Riojas. Thank you so much for watching the weekly news. Uh, my name's Liam. My name's Zama. Well, no. He said that. My name's Molly, and my favorite way to. Okay, restart. Do you know? My name is Chazian. What are you guys gonna? What's this? What are you? Okay, go. Um, wait. Pi Club is a good club. Statistically.